Oh. His jaw dropped. <laughs> Did you see that? His jaw dropped. I got college boy's jaw to drop, see? Who's the wizard now? RJ, so good to see you, man. It's good to see handshake. you, too. Wizard handshake. Did you see that sly move by the old man? That's great. Hi, I'm Jake Wizard for Faraday Studio with my good friend, RJ. And I tell you what, I got this. I want to amaze you. Are you ready to be amazed? I don't know. I've seen a lot of stuff. You've seen a lot of stuff here at Faraday Studio? Yeah, yeah, but this is cool. So cool. Now, look, see what I've got on the table. I'm going to amaze you. What do you see? Well, I see a bowl with water. See a bowl with, well, you assume it's water. Well, yeah. yeah it's it a clear be, liquid. Yeah, a clear liquid. There you go. And uh, an empty bowl. I, oh, what's it got in it? Air. Yeah, see, I'm getting to think like a sign. This is great. What else do you see? Um, I see a couple of beakers, different sizes. Yeah, the beakers, and I got some test tubes, right? <laughs> yep. And some paper clips. So we've got some, some water. It is water. Some bowls, containers, test tubes, and everything. And really, this is going to be jaw dropping. So I'm going to pour some water mm -hmm. into this uh, larger of the two test tubes. Are you with me so far? Yep. So you're not you're not amazed yet. And I've got a, a small test tube mm -hmm. that just fits in there for ballast. I'm just going to put a little bit of water in here just to give it a little more mass. I'm going to drop it in. Now grab your chin and rub it like a scientist would. What's mm. going to happen when I drop that smaller test tube into the larger one? What's going to happen? Well, I think that this would be similar to, say, if you were doing the dishes and yeah. you had two cups, two cups that you needed to maybe stack together stack to them save together. some room. Save some room. But one of them had a little bit of water in it. Yeah. Maybe the water will come out when you put uh, the smaller water come out. In. Yeah, okay, the man's thinking, see? This is what scientists do, they think like this. So I'm gonna drop it in, and sure enough, uh, it sunk down in there, and I oh, it dribbled, overflowed. You did all right, give yourself an A on that one. Ready? I'm gonna turn this thing over. What's gonna happen? Hmm. I'm gonna say, I think the smaller test tube might fall out. I fall out. So, what are some other possibilities real quick? See, what else could it do, maybe? Uh, it could s stay stuck in stay the position stuck, that yeah. it's in. Yeah. Or all the water could, all the water come, could out, come out, yeah. like through the small yeah. gap yeah. in between the test down. tubes. And there is a clue right there at the intersection of the two tubes. You see that bulge of water right there? You see that? Yeah. It looks like that water is kind of hanging out over the edge, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. But it's not quite. It's not driven. quite. It's not quite driven. I'm going to turn this upside down. You ready? Let's see what happens. Whoa! It, it went up. It went up. <laughs> <laughs> His jaw dropped. Did you see that? His jaw dropped. Well, there's a few drops of water. I got college boy's jaw to drop, see? Who's the wizard now? Why do you think that happened? Huh, I have no clue. The clues are that water, see there's water sticking all over that glass, right? Yeah. It, there, it's called cohesion and adhesion. It's a term you'll study in, in, in uh, science classes, and you'll hear it all the time. The shape of water molecules makes them polar, like little magnets, and they tend to be attracted to each other. Okay. So much so that water will do amazing things. That's why when water falls out of the sky, it forms into little drops or on the hood of your car. You'll see drops of water hanging on each other. Those water molecules pull, pull towards each other very strongly. S strong enough to pull that test tube uphill. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. And you know, you've probably seen this before to kind of demonstrate the strength. And this one you can do at home. I've got a, a paper clip and I'm gonna drop it in the water, right? It's made out of steel. Mm -hmm. So what's it gonna do? Well, metal is pretty heavy, so I'm pretty sure it's gonna sink. Hopefully this will work. Mm, we need a drum roll. Look at that. Drop, uh, his mouth's <laughs> open, his mouth's open. He dropped his jaw again. Look at that thing floating on the water. Steel floating on water. Well, there's a skin on the water called surface tension, right? The water molecules are, are attracted to each other, and they're not chemically bonding, but they're attracted. They call them van der Waals forces. It makes you sound smart. We could say they stick together, but no, no, we're wizards. We say van der Waals forces. <laughs> if you like what you saw today and you want to see some more, you can find us on TikTok or Instagram. All you have to do is search for Midnight Science Club.
Midnight Science Club? Yeah. That's all you gotta search for? Yeah. Just do that and you'll find us. Mm -hmm. Right there. Midnight Science Club. We be us. <laughs> that didn't come out right, but it sounded pretty good.